Welcome to my CCNA lab series. In this series, we will use Cisco Packet Tracer to build real-world networking skills and prepare for the CCNA exam. In this first lab, we will start with an introduction to Packet Tracer, exploring its features and how to use it for network stimulation. So, if you are serious about mastering networking and prepare for the CCNA exam, Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all hands-on labs. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cisco Packer Tracer lab series. Today is the lab 1 in this series. In this lab we will perform multiple tasks. In the task 1 we will introduce the Packer Tracer, its different menus, the workspace etc. In task 2 we will add different devices to the workspace including a router, a switch, two PCs, and a laptop. In task 3, we will study different connection types that are available to us in Cisco Packet Tracer. For example, the copper straight-through connection that is used to connect different devices. For example, connecting a PC to a switch, copper crossover, connection that is used to connect similar devices. For example, connecting a PC to another PC. And again, the console, fiber, serial, and wireless connection types. In task 4, we will connect different devices uh, inside the workspace. For example, we will connect PC1, PC2, and laptop to switch 1. And then we will connect the switch to the router. In task 5 and the last task, we will assign IP addresses to different devices. We will assign IP addresses to the PC1, PC2 and the laptop and finally we will ping the PC2 from PC1. So let's get started with the task. So the task 1 is the introduction to the packet tracer. The packet tracer is basically uh, a Cisco network simulation tool that can be used for designing, configuring and troubleshooting networks so here we can see that it has different interfaces the top one is the menu bar which has different uh, types of menus available to us including the file edit option view tool extension and windows and we will study these in detail in the upcoming uh, lab series the second one is the toolbar where we can see we have different button available and some of the same tasks that we can perform through the menu bar can also be done through this task bar through these buttons. For example, if you want to create new topology or want to open an existing topology or save this topology, we can use this button. Again, these button, the copy, paste, undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out or zoom reset. These are important button and we will use them in the course of our lab series. The next uh, to, uh, uh, next bar here is the drawing uh, or you can say I think this one is the drawing palette. So in this one we have different tools for example the selection tool if you want to select something you can use this tool and once selected you can use this button, the cross one to delete them. This is an inspect button that can use to inspect different devices when we will use once we add devices to the workspace. Again, this one is for writing notes. I have used this button to write these notes. This is used to draw a line and these are uh, button are used to draw different uh, objects such as uh, rectangle or uh, ellipse etc so coming to the bottom of uh, our window we have this important uh, toolbar you can say here the device selection toolbar here we can see that we have different buttons available to us the first one and important one is the network devices so inside the network devices then we have multiple categories of the devices for example the first one is the routers and in the routers again we have multiple models of the router available to us second one is the switches 
inside the switches again we have multiple model of the cisco switches then the hub inside the wireless we have multiple wireless devices available in security we have the security devices or firewalls available to us and the last one is the van simulation which we will use when required the next important button is of the end devices and the first one is the end devices uh, in the category and inside the end devices we have different uh, end user devices such as pcs laptop server etc available to us and again the next one is the components and inside the component we have these different boards or different uh, transistor etc available to us and the next important button is of the connections and then inside the connection we have these different connection available to us this one is the automatic connection if you want to use this tool it will connect devices automatically without selecting the connection type then we have the copper straight to connection copper cross or fiber phone connection coaxial and etc so that's the brief introduction of this cisco packet tracer interface and uh, during the course of our lab series we will explore all these in detail once uh, they are used inside our labs the second task is adding devices to the workspace so let's suppose we want to add these devices to the workspace so it is done over here first we want to add a router so we will come to the network devices inside network devices we will select the category of routers and then we are uh, adding the router 2911 so we will select the respective router model 2911 next is the switch we will want, uh, we will add a switch 2960 so we will select the switch category and we will add the switch 2960 to the workspace remember this whole area is known as the workspace and the next is the user and devices we will select the user and devices and add two pcs pc1 another pc pc2 and a laptop to the workspace this is a laptop so this uh, task is done so it is simple and straightforward you select the device category such as the uh, network devices inside the network devices you select the specific category and then the specific model so we are done with this task the next our task number three is the different connection types that are available to us inside the packet tracer so this is available here with this sign and in this we can see that we have this automatic so this one is basically the console this one is the console uh, connection type the next is the copper straight through next is the copper crossover and fiber and so on also available to us is the where is the wireless so this one is the automatic connection uh, selection and we will see the wireless is not visible over here but we will see it in a while and the next task or task number four is connecting these devices to each other so we will connect pc1 to switch one and which connection type we will use remember when using different devices we will use the copper straight through we can always use the automatic connect option but here we will use the copper straight through and we have these different interfaces available to us of course we will use the fast ethernet interface which is the network interface available inside the network card of our pc or which is the network interface and on the switch let's start from the beginning we will select the interface fast ethernet 0 1 and the next one is we will connect the 
PC2 to switch one again we will use the copper straight through and again we will select the first Ethernet 0 of the PC2 and connect it to the second interface first Ethernet 0 2 of the switch and next is we will connect the laptop to the switch again we will use the copper straight to connection let me this time use the automatic connection type so that This is the automatic choose connection type. So it has automatically connected the laptop and here it has connected the switch port number fast ethernet 0 3. And the last connection is connecting the switch to router. Again we can use the copper straight to or we can use the automatic connection type let me choose the copper straight through so i will use the fast ethernet 04 on the switch remember this is a 24 port switch and inside the router we have three in, uh, network interfaces available to us gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 we will select the first interface so we are we are done with connecting the devices to each other so important points to remember here is that to connect different devices to each other we will use the copper straight through or you we can use the automatically choose connection type so here we can see that the uh, connections uh, the green symbol show that these ports are on they are connected but here we are seeing that the router interface is showing the red symbol which means that the port is down and this is because inside the router so another important uh, thing is that if you hover your uh, mouse over the device it will show the interfaces that are available inside the devices and the interfaces that are connected as we can see the, the top three interfaces of the switch are up the fourth one which is connected to the router is down because on the router side you need to manually up the interface let me do it we will go through these configuration detail uh, uh, in the future uh, labs in detail but for now i just want to show you uh, how to uh, make this port green or make this port up so i will go to the specific interface of the router which is gigabit 0 slash 0 and i will use the command no shutdown because all the interfaces of the router are by default in shutdown mode i will close this router CLI and we can see that interface is now up so this is the task number four task number five is assigning IP addresses to PCs and the laptop so now we will assign these IP addresses to our PCs and laptop let's and once you click on any of these devices it brings up this configuration windows so inside the PC we will go to configuration and we will go to that specific this is global configuration you can say where you can uh, define the DNS server and the default gateway for IPv4 as well as for IPv6 but, but here we want to give the IP address to its interface fast Ethernet 0 which is connected to the switch so I will give the IPv4 IP address 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one and the subnet mask is two five five two five five two five five dot zero i will close this dialog box i will go to pc2 the configuration fast ethernet zero interface and i will assign ip address one nine two one six eight
dot one dot two and again the subnet mask will be the same now you will go to the laptop and it has the same configuration interface and i will assign ip address 192.168 and 1.3 and the same subnet mask and the last task is to ping pc2 from pc1 so we'll, i will go uh, to pc1 configuration dialog box again i will go to the desktop and here we have different icons different configuration items available to us since i want to ping i will go to the command command prompt this is the same as the cmd inside our windows pc and laptops and i will type ping 192.168 dot one dot two pc2 ip is one dot two ensure it is accessible it is pinging i can also ping the laptop ip which is which is one dot three ensure it is also pingable so i will close this uh, dialog box and this is it for this lab i hope it has been informative i will uh, add this uh, packet tracer file inside the description for you to download so please subscribe and uh, like the video if you liked it and subscribe it so that you uh, see the notification of the upcoming lab videos thank you and see you in the next video